In this video, we're going to set up an experiment to see um, if there is a difference in the number of leaves that you leave on your stem cutting. So to do this, we're going to use chrysanthemum. Um, and there's a couple of reasons of why you may or may not want leaves. So uh, you might not want leaves because leaves are a big organ that's basically um, a site of water loss. So we have all these stomata on the underside of our leaf and the stomata are the breathing pores of the plant and so they need to be able to take in CO2 and to photosynthesize and when they take in CO2 they also lose water. Um, but if you don't have any leaves on your stem then you don't really have a lot of need for water necessarily. You don't have a lot of pull for water because you don't have stomata that are opening uh, to suck the water up through the stem of the plant if you don't have some sort of photosynthetic capacity. So we are going to see what the kind of fine balance is uh, between having leaves and not having leaves. And to do this we're going to make um, cuttings of um, a little phytomeres. I don't know, we'll probably use um, our fancy tool here of like maybe we want a stem cutting about this long. Um, I try to look for at least three nodes um, or three repeating phytomeres. So here would be like one node, two nodes, three nodes, boom, that could be a stem cutting. Um, but we want to see, um, since our experiments are zero, one, and three, we need to be able to have at least three nodes above the soil. And then um, you probably want about an equal number below the soil. So I would say we want to do some like six node segments here. Uh, three that will be underneath the soil and then three that will be up above the soil. So I've prepped my flat already here. This is just regular potting mix that has uh, that white puffy perlite rock in it again. And um, we've got our zero, one, and three treatments set up on here. And then our date propagated. Uh, let's see, it says mum. You're not going to be able to see that. It says mum, and then it says that today's date is April 14th. So on the 14th of April, we are going to do these stem cuttings. You want to make sure that your soil media is moist first because um, as soon as we cut these things, they're already losing moisture and they don't have any roots to suck up more. So, um, but then the other thing is um, if you have really moist soil or even not moist soil, as you go to put your cuttings in your soil media, you're going to end up wiping off the hormone that you put on there. So it's best if we pre-drill these holes. And um, I like to use some really, you know me here, uh, I like to use really fancy tools when we're doing stuff. So I'm just going to take this pencil because it's a little bit bigger than the diameter of uh, my chrysanthemum. My finger is just a little bit too big for this job, right? So um, I want to use this pencil. And we're going to do 20 cuttings of each for statistical significance. So I'll probably do 10 down in a row. Uh, one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 20 spaces for cuttings. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. And then All right, so now I've got 20 holes in each one um, that we can stick these cuttings in. This is our Bontone 2 uh, rooting hormone that we used before in one of our previous experiments. Uh, the active ingredient this is in, in, in this is indole-3-butyric acid. So let's just go ahead and start cutting some stems then. Uh, when I trimmed them off the plant, I left this long inner node so I have some space to work with. And then uh, we want at least five, so I will make a fresh cut on the bottom of this when I'm ready, but first I wanna make it the length of the, of the cutting that I want. So uh, one, two, three, four, five is probably good. Uh, let's do six on this, I think, actually, because then we'll have three nodes down and three nodes up. This one has lots of leaf tissue, so I, I, you know what, let's just make six the standard. We're just gonna go with six. Uh, we're going to trim this bottom off here, 
There's going to be another video that's going to be node versus inner node trimming. So we'll see the difference of that in a different video. But for these intents and purposes, I'm going to make sure I just have a node on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip off these leaves. If you just tear them off, a lot of times you can end up stripping the stem. And sometimes a wound response uh, to something like that is a good thing. But sometimes um, that's a little bit much for it. So I'm just going to make sure that all of these nodes get a little bit of this rooting hormone. And then here we go. Here's our cutting that we've made that has one, two, three um, leaves left on it. And we're just going to go ahead and put that in one of our pre-drilled holes here. Uh, you want to make sure that the leaf tissue is not touching the soil. Um, anywhere that it touches in the moisture, you have the potential to start rot. So um, we want to make sure that none of the leaf tissue is touching the soil. So here we go. In fact, um, one stuck cutting there. It's also kind of important that these leaves don't end up touching each other, so I may need to adjust where some of my hole placement is throughout these. Okay, now we've got our cutting, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's going to end up taking off this terminal growing point here. Um, and let's just do this so that it has one, um, one leaf on the top. We'll do an example of one of each of these. And then I'll show you what the finished flap looks like. I think I'm actually going to use the something deeper to put this rooting hormone on too because this is kind of cumbersome to just have it like this. If I had something flat, I could probably just roll them. So here is our stem cutting with one leaf, three nodes down that'll go under the soil, three nodes above, and that's consistent with um, the first one. Okay. There we go. This is just waste so we can toss it. And then lastly, let's do one that has no leaves on it. Okay, so I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll trim right above this sixth one. Now, some of these are already starting to bud out. Um, some of these are already weird lighting today because the sun is actually out. So some of these are starting to bud out. We're not going to worry about that too much. Um, if we pick that node off like that, then we're effectively taking away everything that would have ended up growing on this plant, and that's not really a good idea. So we'll leave it reduced to just this guy. Still lots of shadows on there, huh? Ah, if I shade it myself. There we go. So that's six nodes already starting to leaf out a little bit. Uh, again, we'll cover these bottom three. Oh, look at that. I left my inner node hanging out. Ladies don't leave their inner nodes hanging out. We'll trim right underneath of that. And then we'll dip these bottom three in this rooting hormone. And then we'll go ahead and stick. And so now in my tray, I have one with three leaves, one with one leaf, and one with no leaves. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do 20 of each of those cutting types. And um, then in a couple of weeks, we'll check and see what our rooting success is on these plants. So this is what our tray looks like after we've stuck all 20 cuttings. Um, you can see there's a lot of crowding on this side, so maybe we'll see some disease problems that happen with that. Uh, these plants all seem to have like a nice amount of space, and then over here, it's everybody has their really own quadrant, um, which is nice uh, because there, there's no leaf competition in this. So now I'm going to put this um, in the mist table with a little bit of bottom heat, and in a couple of weeks, we'll check them by doing a little wiggle test. Um, to see if they are developing roots and then uh, probably, let's see, I think it's probably going to be three weeks maybe that we'll start pulling these to um, check for rooting capacity. So there you have it. Um, three different leaf morphologies or arrangements uh, in an experiment to see how much leaf tissue is too much or not enough.